Happy January 2017. January 24th, 2017 to be exact. It's a beautiful winter day. I think it's safe to say that the drought is over. Quick update on the steamboat, as you can see. It was buried in feet and feet of snow and ice. All the way up to the gunnels. <clears throat> There's a boiler and a whole bunch of stuff under there somewhere. Put the I got custom springs from custom stainless steel springs from McMaster Car. Uh, three inches in diameter, three inches long out of eighth inch uh, diameter wire, uh, stainless wire. Three springs for a little over three hundred dollars. That was a shock. But now we have the high pressure and low pressure balanced slide valves in and adjusted. Um, found that the other slide valves that were in there were actually the adjustment nuts, lock nuts, were a little too tight and the valves were about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch off the faces. So there was some steam escaping by them and that probably explains why we couldn't have, have as much th throttle control um, when we were running the engine um, on the way quay side or on the dock or not the dock but rather on the hard. Uh, we have the thwart ships tanks in now. Uh, these are water tanks. There and there. Uh, we're 70 gallons of makeup water in, in addition to our 40 gallons in our hot well here. This is going to be an electronic area beside the the Auxiliary gas generator, there'll be electronics. We have a isolating transformer right there. And that's a expensive piece of electronic equipment. It weighs a lot. Um, we'll have our fuse box and everything there. Um, we'll move forward here. Finally got some proper deck plates here. Putting straps here, we're gonna run Sorry, these are the side tanks. This tank is going to run a thwart ships, meaning side to side. Um, it's a polyethylene uh, plastic tank that'll be for water also, makeup water, and or um, potable water. You can see the chain locker up there in the bow with the, the pipe coming from the chain locker going up to the bow winch, the anchor winch, and then you can also see the hose pipe there going through the hole for the anchor. We have a forward looking sonar transducer right under here through the hole. A box that people don't step on said transducer and break it. Lights a little bit better in here than the last time we did this. So I'll show you the linkage. Uh, me, yeah, it's kind of still dark. Let's see if I can. There we go. So that's for the auxiliary steering station. That's a high tech 
repurposing of automotive equipment. That's a CV joint, constant velocity joint. You got coming down here. Comes from a pulley, which the cables are on, to a bevel gear or a set of bevel gears here. Up the shaft, CV joint to adjust for um, adjust for angles because this whole top section will end up moving once you get the boat in the water. We'll move it and adjust it so it's level. And that goes to these pillow, the chain drive and pillow blocks, and then the auxiliary station, steering station up above. That'll be for mainly for emergency situations where the engineer might have to take the helm. Yep. The sink and stove have been installed. They haven't been plumbed yet, but they're there now. So this will be the galley area. We're gonna put drawers in here for cutlery and uh, or silverware. Also, I might have something about six inches wide that'll drop out. We can put plates and stuff into. Uh, also putting a small ice box or a small refrigerator in this area on the side. Put storage under here. Fenders. Now you can see a little bit of LED strip lighting on that fuel tank, the day tank there. On the side here, a little bit. That's uh, 12 volt DC, or 12 volt or 24 volt. Um, super cheap, like 10 bucks a roll of 16 and a half feet, or rather 16.4 feet. But uh, they're super cheap and super bright and run them under the deck all along inside the lower portion of the hull and up as you saw on the auxiliary fuel tank that'll it works really well you can either do it run it with AC through a computer power supply or DC, uh, 12 volt DC or not 12 volt but a DC computer power supply like your computer power supply or you could just run it and clip it and, and splice it into a 12 volt system but uh it really improves the lighting in here nice bright light and with it under the deck it's not in your eyes but it really illuminates everything really well so that's what and it's low draw to low voltage so we'll, we'll uh be able to run quite a bit of it but that is all for now. You can see the chain locker there. We're thinking about putting tanks here in the V-berth. Uh, tanks, for water tanks, and then uh, they have beds on top of it. But now we're looking for a marine electrician so we can finish our electricery. And uh, then we'll dig out and plunk it in the water. My uncle, being an electrician for Sandia National Laboratories, or electrical engineer rather, he always said it's us against it, it being electricity. And it's not if it's going to fail, but when. So finding a good electrician is important for us. So until next time,